All right, I'm gonna show you these uh, tomatoes and peppers right here that's growing in these uh, self watering planters. That right there, uh, that's an early girl tomato. Uh, I started it from seed, and uh, it's got Osmocote fertilizer in it. It's got some pretty good color. Um, I figured it got a little bit too much water, but it, it could look better. But I'll take it. I think it'll be okay. This one here's a jelly bean, and it's got biotone in it. It's showing uh, signs of just a little bit of overwatering right there. But that's probably due to the rain that we had last weekend. I bet. Uh, other than that, it looks okay. That's jelly bean, of course. There's another jelly bean. It's got a different kind of fertilizer in it. Uh, I wrote them all down, and I'm gonna document you know which ones do better and all that here's a this one right here is a five gallon container and uh, it's got the piece of floor tile in it like I showed on my blog so it's roughly got probably uh, I guess about four gallons of soil in it and uh, it's planted with a plant that I got from the uh, extension office it's either a Rutgers or an Atkinson. I don't know which one it is. It, it, it wasn't labeled, but I know it's one of them. I'm going to let it grow. And uh, it's got a fertilizer in it. Uh, I seen it at Home Depot. It was in a weird shaped container and it was called uh, Mater Magic. I, I just had to buy it. Uh, we're going to find out what it's like, but on these buckets right here, what I've got, I got these little, uh, these cages, these, I got them at work, they were just sitting out back ruining, I've uh, been there for several years, and I saw them one day, and I thought, you know, I can use them, so I set it on top of this lid right here, and then I took some electric fence wire and wired it down to the handle right here, and uh, it's sturdy, it won't go anywhere, it's there, man, and I've got some more that uh, I can set on top. So I can just keep going, just keep going up. Uh, probably about, I don't know, six foot. And uh, that's gonna keep it from falling over later. But here's another, here's another one that's constructed the same way, but it's got a bell pepper in it that I got from the extension office. And uh, it's got a 10 to 8 uh, organic fertilizer in it. Here's another one. This bucket right here is three and a half gallons. And let me think. Yeah, it's three. It's three and a half gallons, and it's two of them. So it's a bucket inside of a bucket. So in in uh, reality, it's got uh, three and a half gallons of soil in it. It's got a bell pepper planted in it, and it's got a uh, another kind of fertilizer in it that. Uh, the MPK value of it is uh, 12, 3, 13. And of course, when we get to the other side, I've got another little four gallon self watering planter that's got a, uh, it's got a little stupichka plant that I, I grew from seed. Uh, never grown one before, but I understand that they put out a lot of tomatoes and I, I just wanted to grow it. Uh, it's got Osmocote in it. So as you can tell, I'm keeping up with all this stuff. Uh, this is for the uh, uh, extension office, and uh, this is going to be valuable information to uh, hopefully uh, make a publication later out of uh, constructing one of these and growing things in them. But all these has got the, the same little wire baskets on them. Shoot, man, I like them. They work good. Uh, you know, you need uh, for bell peppers. You need something also. So it, this is just a just a perfect thing for that. As it gets, you know, up here pretty tall. What I'll do is put me some sticks through here and uh, keep it from uh, you know leaning and falling over and all that. Okay, we got a whole lot more videos to shoot. I'm gonna shut this knife and go get some more.